Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now, today, I want to talk a little bit about hallucinations that I have and kind of how it's a struggle and comes with schizoaffective disorder. Got my Coca-Cola. I prefer Pepsi, but the co-op don't do packs of Pepsi, they only do packs of Coke. So yeah, let's get on with this video. To anyone who hasn't watched my channel recently, you won't know this, but in July, I think it was July, I got diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. My psychiatrist said it made sense given what I was experiencing and that I was bipolar type. And honestly, I wasn't too sure about the bipolar type part of it. I was, I kind of believe I struggle more with depression. So I was thinking it would be more likely to be depression type, but I don't know it's bipolar type. So that's fun. But anyway, hallucinations. One of the main hallucinations that I get is every I, he, I get this every night that is feeling bugs crawling over me and it feels so real i try scratching them off and obviously there's nothing there but it goes on until i fall asleep now this is one i hoped would have died down with my medication but it hasn't so i guess i'm just gonna be stuck experiencing that for the rest of my life wonderful so Tactile hallucinations are very real and they are horrific. I wouldn't wish that hallucination on any. It literally feels like they're burrowing into your skin. The bugs do. They're like burrowing into your skin and it just feels so horrible and icky. Next hallucination I get a lot is a visual hallucination and that is of a shadow figure running across my room. Now, while I know it's not real and I always say to myself it's not real, I physically see this. And it's hard to contradict yourself by saying it, it's not real because you literally see it. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, it's not real. So that hallucination, I've managed to sort of calm myself down out of it, which is important because that means, well, that just means I'm able to cope a bit better with hallucinations. Hearing people call my name, so an auditory hallucination. Now, this, when I'm here, it doesn't affect me too much because I know I know if someone's here because they open my door. Whereas when I'm at my mom's or when I'm at my grandparents or my dad's, I can't tell if it's they're actually calling my name or if I'm hallucinating it. So I always have to check with them. I was like, did you call me? And they're like, no. <laughs> so yeah, the, the issue with hallucinations is they're just annoying. Like they're so fucking annoying. That's all I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon. It costs $3. You can opt to pay more and earn different p perks. I post one video every other week to my Patreon and I will link it on the iCard up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.